put the fountain together today. Got it working. Very relaxing sitting out here on the patio watching and listening to the water. I also put the whirly gig out today for a little run with the breeze. This whirly gig is probably about 90 years old. It was my great grandfather's. My rem uh, father remembers it in his grandfather's backyard on Oakland Avenue in Lansing. I remember it in my grandpa's backyard on Maycroft in Lansing. And then my dad had it, and then I got it. Now, as far as I know, everything is original here. I did have to glue it back together here and glue the saw back together and repaint it. This board down below I think my grandfather had added to give this one support it had a little rod in here I put some get rod in there and I think my grandfather had put these paint sticks on it here also to assist in putting it back together the propeller was completely missing so I did have to replace the propeller but in a little breeze it works nice it's just like a nail that holds it into the post I Put a wooden dowel into the galvanized pipe. It's one inch galvanized. I pounded it into the ground level with a wooden dowel glued into it, and then I drilled down into the wooden dowel for this nail. It's through the steel. That's like a little block of steel at the nail. I think that was part of it originally. And uh, it just sits in there, and then that way the wind can blow it around whatever way the wind's coming from. And when the wind hits it, it goes to town. I don't know if I can get this camera up close enough you can see some weathering that was in the wood. Saw's a little warped. And the saw was broken. I did have to glue it and I did have to glue the man back together right there. All this stuff is the original I did make this wire new. But all the rest of the stuff is from the original whirly gig. You can see where, where it's sawed through the log a little bit over the years from where. I restored this so oh, maybe two winters ago, I think. These are the bells that you hear in the background ringing. They were my neighbors in Savannah, Georgia. Iva, she was 91 when she passed away. And she was an awesome neighbor, and the family asked me if there was anything I wanted, and I said the only thing I wanted was the bells on each end of her house. They just reminded me of Iva. One more shot of the fountain. Get close up. This fountain's from the 60s. It was in my mom's back patio for a long time. Now I got it on my patio. Oh, person sitting there. Early gigs going to town there. A little bit of a breeze.